Bureaucrats think they can run over your lives, overrule your values, meddle in your faith, and tell you how to live, what to say, and where to pray. But we know that parents, not bureaucrats, know best how to raise their children and create a thriving society. And we know that families and churches, not government officials, know best how to create a strong and loving community. And above all else, we know this. In America, we don't worship government, we worship God. Religious liberty is enshrined in the very first amendment in the Bill of Rights. The American founders invoked our Creator four times in the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin reminded his colleagues at the Constitutional Convention to begin by bowing their heads in prayer. I also want to speak to all of the people, see, you thought I forgot, in our faith community who are here with us tonight, veterans and non-veterans alike. You're never going to be forgotten. You'll never be forgotten. My administration will always support and defend your religious liberty. We don't want to see God forced out of the public square, driven out of our schools, or pushed out of our civic life. We want to see prayers before football games if they want to give prayers. We want all children to have the opportunity to know the blessings of God. We will not allow the government to censor sermons, to restrict the free speech of our pastors and our preachers and the people that we most respect. Like Robert. That is why, just as I promised Pastor Jeffress and other faith leaders, I just signed an executive order following, and this is something that makes me very happy and very proud, following through on my campaign pledge to stop the Johnson Amendment from interfering with your First Amendment rights. As long as I am president, no one is going to stop you from practicing your faith or from preaching what is in your heart. We want to hear him. <laughs>